In this lesson, you'll learn how to use the Component Manager to record customizations and create a component that can be exported into another system. I'm going to log on as the System Administrator now, and you can see that I've come into my starting point, my, my dashboard, and what I want to do is look at something with inside uh, Sage CRM. I'm going to go to the company screen and just consider the idea of quotations. What I want to be able to do is to be able to uh, think about a, a real customization that I want to be able to carry out inside Sage CRM and then how that can be taken from a development environment and put into a production environment. And here what you can see is um, looking at a company screen and what we'll find is if we go and have a look at opportunities, we can see listing of opportunities that have been created, but we don't see at the level of the company information about the quotations that have been raised for that company. To see that, we'd have to go into each individual uh, opportunity and then click on the, the quotations tab to have those quotations listed out. So it'd be quite useful for us to be able to have uh, all of the quotations that are associated with those different uh, different opportunities listed at the level of the company. So next to the Opportunities tab, we could imagine that there would be a Quotes tab. Now to do this, it's not a particularly difficult act of customization, but we want to be able to make sure that it's recorded so it can be carried through into the external system. Now, everything that I'm saying here is only really an introduction to the topic, and there's a developer lesson that we'll go into at much more detail. But in order to start creating a component, I have to come into the administration screen, move across into the customization screen, and from here go into the component manager. Now, you can see that there's no components listed available for me to install, and that's perfectly true. This is a default system. There's nothing available for me to be able to use. Uh, but I can here start the process of creating a component. So I'm just clicking on the Component Details tab, and you can see here uh, where we have the default component that would start recording any customizations that might take place. Now, it's a good idea to create your own new component for each bit of customization that gets carried out. So I'm going to create a new component here, and I'm going to call this Company Quotes. And I'll provide a description. So I will say this is Company Quotes. Uh, and it's for uh, Sage CRM. Now, at the moment, there is no customizations associated with this new component. So if we were to look at the preview script, we would see that this was an empty area. So there's nothing there. And the idea is that what we're going to do is we're going to go around and we're going to start marking uh, the customizations as belonging to this component and so when we are ready we can generate script that can be played back into another system so that the same customizations are carried out. I'm going to uh, return here and start the process. So in order to carry out the customization what I have to do is just remind myself uh, of the particular list that is used to represent quotes. And so I'm navigating into the quotes area and I'm looking at uh, the quotes here and we can see that there's a quotes list uh, option. So I'm, I'm interested in knowing that I can take this quotes list and add this underneath uh, the company context. So to do that, um, I now navigate to the customization area for company. And so you can see I've come into administration, customization for the company. And I'm going to go into the tabs area 
and select the company tab. While I'm looking at the company tab, um, I can now add in a new tab for the quotes. And I'm going to use an action uh, called run block, which allows me to codelessly reference the list that we saw earlier on. And I'm going to choose add. And we can see that this has uh, added into the menu and I can move that up into the position next to the Opportunities tab. So that's moved into position and I can save this. And I can navigate now uh, back into the main menu area and you can see next to the Opportunities tab there's a quotations as we're looking under the context of the company. So if I click on here and we can see that this is neatly listing out all of the quotes that are associated with our company. So this is a customization that has worked and now we want to be able to generate uh, the, the code that could be played back into the external system. If I go across into administration and then uh, look at uh, the customization for the component manager underneath the component details I can now look at the preview script and see that it has gone through the generation of a lot of information associated with the new tab and uh, I can now generate the new uh, the new component. So I'm going to click on my script component option and script this out into a file. So this script has created for me two files, uh, one called uh, companyquotes.ecf and the other called companyquotes.es and these two files are doing slightly different jobs. This is where I'm going to switch over into a text editor program to uh, start to look at those created files. Now I'm using a text editor, uh, one called TextPad, and there are resources provided on the community to allow for a customization of uh, component files using the text editor. So I'm going to just open up in here, uh, resources inside CRM. Now I've come into the INF folder and we can see where we have created the ECF file and also uh, we can see where we've created the company quotes folder and inside this we can see that there's an ES file as well. Notice as well that we have got a couple of folders which indicate that uh, .NET and custom pages like ASP pages can also be brought across and that's one of the other features about the component manager is that it's quite happy to move not only the script customizations with inside CRM but also the external customizations like files etc. So it's possible to move uh, files and resources to a new machine as well using the component manager. So I can see that I've got my little script file in here. The ECF file uh, allows me to provide parameters and in a later lesson you'll see how parameters are used in an example of the component manager uh, known as the advanced customization wizard or the main entity wizard to allow for parameters to be passed. But in this case I can add in uh, new parameters parameters that might only be read-only but they allow us to include things like logos into the uh, system. Uh, they allow us to uh, provide descriptions of what the component is going to be doing. So here I might say that uh, uh, what it can do. And I can say uh, this component will create a new tab on the company that lists quotes and I can add in uh, perhaps another uh, disclaimer 
to describe and fill out the information. But there, but it is possible with inside the uh, ECF parameter file to include other parameters. But as I said, I'll cover that in another lesson. So I'm going to save this and those two files that I've got, the company quotes and the ECF file, uh, what I can now do is to create this as a single uh, distributable zip file uh, which is available uh, to be used by another install. So I've added my quotations, I've added my I've added, sorry, my parameters, I've added uh, any changes that I might have made to the ECF, ES file, the script file, and now what I can do is highlight both of these and send them out into a zip folder, and I'll leave that as company quotes, and then I can close that. And there we are, we, we've done now is created uh, a component that we can then use and we can see that that component uh, is found in the INF folder.